What's up everybody? This is Dallas Stone here. Today I'm just going to do a quick uh, video on the poly build and mirroring. Just kind of the process and how how to do it properly. Uh, it's not very intuitive so I just want to make sure that I kind of go over this. So for example, let's say I wanted to do um, the poly, use the poly build tool or the create polygon tool in Blender to create this hollow. So I'm going to go to my x-axis here. I'm going to go um, to this collection collection for now shift a to create uh create plane or a or a cube whichever press tab to go to edit mode go to vertices mode uh, press w to select it i'm just going to delete the vertices so i'm going to go to my x-ray mode also delete the vertices so that everything is deleted now I'm gonna go and um, just put a space bar for me uh, to bring up the tools menu, go to poly build tools, and I'm gonna start putting in some vertices here. And awesome. Now I'm gonna go to select mode again. I'm going to select these vertices, press F to create faces. I'm going to select the vertices again, these three vertices, press F. There you have it. Now you have this face that you'd like, right? This kind of poly, this shape. So let's go to uh, fa uh, faces now. So this button over here, or three. I'm gonna select these, and I'm gonna go to press uh, X for extrude. No, sorry, not X, E. I'm gonna go X to extrude it on the X axis. Have that. I turn off x-ray mode and I'm going to go to object mode you're going to notice the the pivot right in the 0 to 0 which is perfect and I'm actually going to press the slash button on the numpad. pad I'm going to go back to edit mode select faces I'm going to select these faces here I'm going to delete faces and then now, if I go back to object mode, select object mode. And the most important thing before you do the mirror is making sure that your pivot is in the zero to zero on the axes, on the x axis. Because if it's not, it's going to not do the mirror properly. I'm going to go to mirror, and everything should be good, right? And that's because I know that this is on the, the zero on the x axis. If it isn't, all you really have to do, and this is kind of a trick that I like to do, I'm going to go to edit mode, I'm going to go to vertices, I'm going to select vertices on the edge here, I'm going to deselect these ones, deselect these ones, and then I'm going to go and um, go to move, and right now you see right in the middle of all of these vertices, so from here I'm going to go to mesh i'm gonna go transform snap i'm gonna go cursor to selected right so now the 3d cursor is there and what i can do from now is i can go to object mode and i can go to object i can go um set origin to 3d cursor so now it's literally perfectly right in the middle and this if i go to the top view right on the x-axis perfect and then now if i go to mirror be perfect if i go and now if you notice the shading is a little bit off which usually means that the faces um are incorrect so i'm just gonna go to faces here and we should be able to see our face normals as you can see they're they're inverted what you can do is Face orientation so right now it's red red means no is not good right you want it to look to be blue so you can select all the faces here go to face and go data where is it face normals you go to mesh normals, calculate outside, and now you should have the proper 
face normals. Now these ones weren't selected because I wasn't on x-ray mode. But the hotkey for that is just shift N. And there you have it. Now everything should look proper. I'm going to turn off face orientation, turn off the normals. And now you should have proper shading on things. And there you have it. So now if I go, I move this vertice, it's going to move the other side as well. All right, hopefully that helps out. See you guys all next time. Bye now.